Hello, my name is Helen Francis. I am the subject officer responsible for physics at WJC. This presentation gives you an overview of the new specification for A-level physics in Wales for first teaching from September 2015. Information will be provided on the assessment of the qualification, content, practical work, assessment objectives, question types and resources. All the awarding organisations that offer general qualifications were invited to be involved in developing new A-level specifications for Wales, but only WJEC chose to take forward this programme of work. The Welsh Government has stated that the new specifications, which have been developed by WJEC, will be the only ones available to the maintained sector in Wales. The specification for A-level physics, together with the specimen assessment materials, are now available to download from our website. There are five units in the new WJEC A-level. The first two units make up the AS. They are both written examinations and they each contribute 20% to the A-level qualification. The last three units make up the A-level. Units 3 and 4 are written examinations and they each contribute 25% to the qualification. Unit 5 is a practical examination which contributes 10% to the A-level qualification. The two AS units will be available for the first time in summer 2016 and the AS qualification will also be awarded for the first time in summer 2016. The three A-level units will be available for the first time in summer 2017 and the A-level qualification will be awarded for the first time in summer 2017. Candidates are allowed to resit each unit only once prior to certification and the better result will count. Each topic within the new specification is laid out in a similar manner. Alongside the actual subject content, the following guidance is provided to aid the teaching of each topic. There is a working scientifically section, which highlights the practical skills which could be developed in the topic. There is a mathematical skills section, which identifies the mathematical skills which feature in the topic. There is a how science works section, which identifies where how science works skills could be developed in the section. In addition, if appropriate, specified practical work is listed at the end of the topic. These are practical activities which must be undertaken. So let's look now at each of the units. Firstly, AS Unit 1 is worth 80 marks and has an examination time of one and a half hours. This slide summarises the topics which feature in the unit. The second AS unit is also worth 80 marks and has an examination time of one and a half hours. This slide summarises the topics which feature in the unit. The first of the A-level units is Unit 3. This unit is worth 100 marks and has an examination time of two and a quarter hours. The topics which make up the unit are listed on the slide. The written examination is comprised of two sections. Section A contains questions on the topic which make up the unit and Section B contains a comprehension question. The article will not be released in advance. The second A-level unit is Unit 4. This unit is worth 100 marks and has an examination time of two hours. The topics which make up the unit are listed on the slide. The written examination is comprised of two sections. Section A contains questions on the compulsory topics in the unit, while Section B is the options question. Four option topics are available. Alternating currents, medical physics, the physics of sports and energy and the environment. 
They have all been developed to link physics to the world of work. This slide summarises the main changes that have been made to the AS content when compared to the legacy WJEC physics specification. This slide summarises the main changes that have been made to the A-level content when compared to the legacy WJEC physics specification. The new specification has been developed to allow practical work to be an integral part of the teaching and learning of the subject. The specified practical work that features in the specification must be carried out. However, there is flexibility in the method that could be followed for each of the practicals. So how will practical skills be assessed? In the AS qualification, there is no practical examination. On the two written examination papers, questions will feature that will assess the practical skills of the candidates. A minimum of 15% of the marks in each AS series will be linked to the assessment of practical skills. In the A-level qualification, there is a practical examination. This is Unit 5. The practical examination will consist of two tasks. An experimental task, this will involve a hands-on practical activity, and a practical analysis task. In addition, on the other two A-level examination papers, Units 3 and 4, questions will feature that will assess the practical skills of the candidates. A minimum of 15% of the marks in each A-level series will be linked to the assessment of practical skills. It is compulsory that all learners keep a record of their practical work in a lab book. This should be a working document which contains the work they've completed on the specified practical work and any other practical activities they've completed during the qualification. This slide lists the assessment objectives for both AS and A-level physics. The weighting of Assessment Objective 2 is the same for both qualifications. However, there's a greater weighting of Assessment Objective 3 in the A-level qualification compared to the AS. A number of different question types will feature on the examination papers. Questions which will assess the quality of extended responses will be clearly identified and referred to on the front page of the examination paper. They will be worth six marks each. It is a requirement of all A-level specifications that learners understand the connections between the different elements of the subject. This means that some questions set in the A2 units will require learners to demonstrate their ability to draw together different areas of knowledge and understanding from across the full course of study. There are many resources that are available or will be available to support the teaching of the new A-level qualification. These include an interactive teacher guide, updated revision guides and a new textbook, a free question paper database, an updated data booklet and an updated terms and definitions booklet. Also, lab books will be available for purchase from WJC. Guidance will be provided on general practical skills, how to use a lab book, and a guidance sheet for each of the specified practical tasks will be available. We also send out email bulletins on a regular basis, giving important updates and news items. You can subscribe to these on the WJC A-Level Physics webpage.
Finally, there are various websites that you can access directly. Should you have any questions regarding the new A-Level Physics qualification, then please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you for listening.